Flick like Abdi, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of NIMBY Rails and Transport Fever 2. As you can see here, we've got a green train on the map. So, the Avanti West Coast, uh, Glasgow to uh, London, Houston is up and running. Uh, so, there's two trains on that. We'll go through the line. It doesn't actually stop. At many places it sort of goes to crew and then uh, sort of gives up but it goes down here to London Houston it then bypasses all this doesn't stop in Watford or, or Milton Keynes maybe there is one that's scheduled that does it doesn't stop in rugby either and or Stafford but it just goes it keeps on going until uh, it reaches crew which I don't know there's Warrington, where's Crew? Ah, Crew is there. Yep, yeah, it stops at Crew. Crew is the next, the next stop, and then it stops at Warrington, uh, Bank Key, and then it goes up to Wigan, Northwestern, and then it heads up to Preston, and then it continues up to Lancaster. It then goes up to. Ooh, I thought it was a weird bit of track there, but it's fine. Uh, it goes up to Carlisle. It then continues all the way up and stops at uh, Motherwell. And then it goes into uh, Glasgow Central, which is right here. So I'm not sure if there is one that stops at Rugby and Coventry. When you click on their stations, it does actually say Avanti West Coast is a, is a train company that stops there. But I, I can't see any in the schedule for Glasgow to London. That actually stopped there. They sort of get the crew and then they, they just shoot down to London. So I'm thinking about adding crew as well. I'm thinking about bringing Birmingham further down. As you can see, it's it's in line here with Peterborough. So that's kind of weird. <laughs> so, uh, or maybe delete Birmingham and move it further south from... Uh, from Manchester or maybe just pop it just above between where Manchester Airport is and Gloucester and then I'll maybe have a uh, crew in as well we'll just see see how we get on uh, but we'll head over to the map uh, I have built a uh, London Houston station because uh, sometimes building these can be uh, quite a nightmare so I did that off uh, off camera but we'll head over to the map now so, here we are on the Transport Fever 2 map. There is London's King's Cross, and here is London Euston in all its glory. So, again, uh, thanks to Anglo Saxon, I used his video, uh, the one that shows you how to build King's Cross and then do this. So, this is actually two. So, this is uh, pretty much 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, and then four at the end here to get this added section on. I'm not sure if that's a thing in real life. Uh, that's the way he did it and it looked uh, really cool. Obviously you can have the standard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight platforms and do it that way. I done it this way as well because I think it looks really nice. Plus it, you end up with a, a bit that sticks out at the end of the actual station module. So kind of cool to get that up and running. So this is obviously Houston uh, for British Rail and uh, I think it's, it's London Overground or Underground. Oh it's the London Underground, that's okay. But yeah, so we are going to do our Avanti West Coast train. It's probably going to head out this way. Uh, I was thinking about adding crew somewhere uh, right in here. We probably could uh, we'd have to rework Wigan Station. That's a thing that would have to have to happen. We'd have to pull the train out this way and then get it over this track some way, somehow. Uh, which might prove to be rather difficult. Uh, I was going to take it through and just bypass Manchester and then head out. It sort of heads over the top of Birmingham. And then comes round. I might still do that, but I would kind of like to get uh, 
crew in and then it would have to come round, go over the top of Birmingham again and then round but I don't know how I'm going to get it across this section track right here. The track is basically built up into up until this point. Now I could make this a bridge, I could make this section a tunnel. Uh, but the problem is it's very close to this junction, so I could push this junction out somewhat. We'll move that train along, so along you go there, train, right? Uh, this is going to upset trains, yes, it's gonna, we're going to upset many trains here, but we will check them uh, after the fact to make sure they're not completely kaput. Uh, this one here might be an issue. We'll have to wait and see. Push that further along. Now, this is quite a flat area, so I am kind of hoping that it will just... Is that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's with Katanari, so that's the one we need. I'm kind of hoping it will give us a bridge. If not, we could potentially dip this line under. Uh, come out of there for a moment. Uh, I want to go down. Right. Rush sides. Yeah, pull that down. There. And then see if it gives us... Gives us a bridge. It looks kind of weird. Yeah, see, already it's quite high. There we go. There's a bridge. And then we can clean it up. Uh, later. Just give me that in green please. I think that will be fine. And then bring that out this way. And then I can bring the line out from here. Uh, so this is going to be quite a severe junction. We are going to have to bring it down to get underneath there. So start bringing it down now. Yeah, quite sharply, I think, because we need to get the catenary, catenary under as well. Right, that's perfect. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, go straight or flat. Yep, that's no conflict there. So that's all good as well. <laughs> this does look kind of weird. But uh, hey ho. Now, crew. Where is crew going to go? Possibly right in the middle here, and then we can bypass it. And then take the train round. Now, we can either go round the back. It doesn't actually stop in Birmingham in real life. It heads over the top. Uh, we are going to need to get it round this way. So I think uh, possibly taking it round the back tunneling through here and then bringing it alongside this hillside and then take it round so I think that is possibly going to be the plan so it's not completely accurate as it would be in real life uh, buildings yes please I want no no buildings I want high speed catenary right you're the you are the correct Tenerite. Alright, so we want it to come out that way. This is quite nice as well because it will stop uh, Birmingham from growing up that hill to a certain degree. Uh, I could also have excess passengers. Uh, maybe get transferred out to the station there. We still need to add quite a few planes and things to the game. We could possibly have a train that comes round as well and maybe goes into Manchester Station. I think probably down this way, maybe not up that way because traffic is quite congested up there. I mean, we could add more platforms to this and we probably will. So we'll just wait and see. We'll see how we, uh, see how we get on. Uh, right, so this section of track here or this train here was upset. Let's try and ease its suffering. Alright, so bring that 
round following there, yes. And then bring you round to there, yes. Okay, now I know that you have fixed yourself. But have you fixed yourself correctly? Uh, so that is Wigan Liverpool. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, this one here, Transpennine, is all good as well. Uh, we will add some signals. I'm going to do this now, lest I forget. And then the trains get screwed up later. So we want to stop you there. We want to stop you there, stop you there. Uh, remove this one. Hello train. You're slightly in the way there. Remove that one. And then there's these ones here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, push play, see how it looks. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Perfect. So, crew. Where is crew going to go? Now again, we'll just make it a teeny tiny, teeny tiny little town. Uh, so we're heading around the back here. Right, maybe about... Just to the left, slightly there. Okay, we're going to have to remove most of this, unfortunately. That's okay, I can get the station in here. I think that's going to be a nice place for it. Buildings. Uh, just give me a UK station with two. Uh, main building, medium. Okay, so I, I think I would like crew to be crew would be an older style building. Yeah, that's pretty huge. We'll go with that. I like the hugeness of that building. Right, so I'm actually going to pop it out a touch. Now this will come up with something else, Chatham. Mm, close, but no cigar. Uh, where is... Oh, I've switched off town names. So we need to change this to crew. It's close. Crew station. And this also needs to be changed up to crew station. Crew. Excellent. Right. So that is in. Uh, let's build, build some roads so the station is actually connected to something. Place that there, place that down there. That will do for the moment, and then we shall grow it out later. Now, there will be other tracks that come out of crew, obviously. Uh, we are going to adjust it uh, as time goes on. And I might even adjust that, this station here, and just add two more through platform tracks. But I'll do that offline. I can push these ones across. That's not an issue. Go into here. Go into smoothing. Uh, fix this before you forget. Oh, well, see, that's nice now. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe throw in a couple of trees to make it look nice. It's a weird little dip, but it's going to work. Right, and then we want to come round this way. Uh, so bring that round, yep. Ooh, there's a large hill there. Alright, that was almost what we wanted, but we need you to go in there. Right, so no bridge or anything, that's fine. And then into there. Okay, and then we are happy to tunnel through here, I think. Right, well, actually, I want this to... potentially bypass Oxford you know what bring it around that way yeah we'll give it a tunnel we'll give it a fast tunnel a fast looking tunnel a new age tunnel and then we shall bring it around here now you are trying to give me a bridge and I'm not entirely sure that we need one we maybe do I think this is trying to go up uh, well maybe cut that down okay so new age tunnel was a bust it failed 
miserably. Right, I would like the train at some point to go flat across there. Right, and then bring that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nearly. No, no, that's correct, actually. Yeah, give it that again. So we're just roughly going behind Birmingham instead of over the top. Uh, we still will have to get, like, our Manchester train and things in there. Right, now I can see the main line in the distance that goes to London King's Cross. We sort of want to go over this way. Now this area here, oops, a daisy. I thought I had dragged that from the previous section of track. Maybe not. Pay attention. <laughs> 125 is fine. I think that's as fast as the train. Well, the train can go faster than that, but UK track speeds would probably dictate that 125 is the max all right and i want to bring you whoa okay so i'm not sure if the game has crashed no it hasn't right <laughs> that's okay it just doesn't it hates this section of road here so i'm trying to bring it over yeah that's better I'm trying to bring it over to the left hand side there now you're giving me all manner of weird stuff here will you just go flat or flattish bring it more over that way and then before you actually build that make sure that is the right side it is and then in it goes now I'm pretty sure it goes underneath Oxford etc uh, bars is going over the top right so there we have it the line is now complete and it's gonna look nice going through those trees there I'm not sure what the hell this is and it's gonna head up here there's not that much smoothing actually do yeah I suppose there's a wee bit there that's fine though all right so we should probably signal this up before I go ahead and try and fire the trains on uh, yeah get a signal under there and you're absolutely going to need one here that train should stop there etc then keep going see the Birmingham train can come round and then branch off we're going to have Birmingham station at this side Last time we sort of had it up the side here and it, it wasn't really a viable option. It was actually a bit of a nightmare. Right, so down we go. So it should be relatively fast heading down this section because there ain't much in the way to slow it down there's no stops or any other trains using this particular section of track now I need to diamond here and diamond there well at least do this one first right and in fact this is the one that doesn't put catenary poles in for, yeah, that's, that looks much cleaner, actually. So bear in mind in future when we're doing junctions that we should probably select that non Uh The non, well, at least it doesn't have the, the poles. All right, now I'm going to want you to stop there. Okay, we are pretty much 
good to go. Now we don't have to do a commuter line. Yep, see these are two stations. I don't know if anyone's going to use the second one. I'm going to try and refrain from uh, placing trains sort of into there. But you're going to go here. Uh, you then stop at Wigan. Uh, make you yellow so I can tell which one you are. Yeah, so you're going to... No one's using that side of the platform at the moment. Uh, you need to stop at Preston. And you need to stop at Carlisle. And then you need to go into Glasgow Central. Right, am I going to add another platform, or two platforms, to Glasgow Central? And I think the answer is most definitely, probably, yes. So configure this. Tracks, yes please. It won't let me build a track right there. That is... Infuriating. Why? Maybe possibly because of these buildings, right? So we'll delete everything down this side. It can grow back if it wants to. Go to tracks again. Yeah, yeah. So it's opened up now, so that's perfect. Uh, one, two, three, and four. You know what? I think that'll be fine. Platforms. Standard platform, which is this. One, two, three, four. Now, how big is an Avanti West Coast train? Uh, we are about to find out. Yeah, maybe have it slowed down as it enters the station. Okay, hates that. Take it from further back. Hmm. Okay, have it go straight out to about there and then try and feed it into there. That looks okay. How far will you go? About there. Okay, double slip switch that because we're going to need it to change side. Uh, add a signal there to stop it and we may have to stop the train there and delete this one so that the other trains don't cross into that section. Okay, right. Back to creating the line. Whoops, no, we don't want a line two, just a line one. Carlisle, add a station there. Yep, it's gone in there. And it has crossed back over to the other side, so that's good. Until we get to Carlisle, then something will most definitely go wrong. Right, there's already a lot of people sitting here. But that's okay, we're going to use it to use the main terminal. Going on four, that's perfect. Uh, yep, going on one. One, awesome. Go in on two. Apparently, yes, two. Excellent. Then you can head off to crew or there should be an issue. Yeah, so we're all good. And then back to London. Where it is decided to go on to the far side. That's okay. That's totally fine. You can go in the far side if it wants. Uh, so make this red. Because we're now happy with it, right? Avanti West Coast Glasgow to London Houston Okay Now would we be as bold as to try and pull the train out? One thing I I am going to do is, I know that there are services that run from the north through London then head out south. Obviously they can't stop at King's Cross or London Exchange or St Pancras because those are terminus stations. 
So normally what you would do, you would get here, you would jump on the underground and go to another station that continues on. But there are trains that do pass through. For example, I think there's a cross-country train that heads from Aberdeen, comes all the way down to London, and then it goes all the way uh, right out to... What is at the edge of this map again? Penzance, yeah. I'm pretty sure that is an actual thing. I think it runs every week on a Tuesday. It doesn't run just now because there's broken track between Aberdeen and Montrose that's currently being fixed. Uh, basically where that train accident was last year. So I think they actually fixed it, but then something went wrong again, so they're reworking that section of the line. So you have to get a bus from Aberdeen to uh, Montrose or Arbroath or Dundee and then jump on the train from there. But having that coming in here should be totally fine. Now I would like to add possibly four trains on here. It's quite a long distance. There's nothing else that sort of runs on this line. Like the, the LNERs, there's the Pendolinos, the Azumas, and then there's the old school 225s and the ones that come from way up north from Aberdeen are obviously uh, 125s. So they've got a mix, but this probably shouldn't be a mix because I think there is. Now I don't know if there's any in here, if there are. We'll mix it up and we'll have two of each. So there's one, yeah, Avanti. But is that, is that Avanti West Coast? I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm assuming it is. Avanti Safe Travels, Avanti. What's this, Carriages? What is that? What is the difference there? I mean, we'll just keep looking. Alright, London Northwestern Railways, that's pretty cool. LNER. I'm assuming that there's going to be more. Yeah, Avanti Plane Carriages. 390 1. Avanti Pride Livery, see, that's pretty cool. The standard. Uh, we'll check out the, the 800s as well. I'm pretty sure there's one in here. If not, we'll be able to use the other ones. Uh, so we've got cross country, or is this a van e cross country? No description. AXC. I suppose we could buy one and let it come out with the depot so we can see it. Right, Great Westerns, Transpennine, which we've got the LNER. So there is no 800 class. Now, these are electric slash diesels, so you get them in here as well. Five variants. Network rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any other. So, yeah, we'll maybe go with. Right, we'll pull one of these out first. EXC. What does EXC stand for? EXC. Right, I'm gonna. I might not use this. I'm just wanting to see what it looks like when it pops out of the of the depot. Now we'll push play. It might just be a cross country train, but I don't know what that E is. At the front. Ah, it's cross country by Riva. Okay. Delete you, my friend. Uh, manage vehicle. Sell. Yes. Right, we're back into there. Let's just check these again. EXC, we've got LNER stuff. What is this? The VTEC. It's a Virgin one, right? VTEC is Virgin. And then we've got like the Silver Fox. That's LNER. So these are some pretty cool stuff as well. And we'll get going here now. Start from the beginning. Right, so we've got the carriages. 
Right, so we've got plain carriages and safe travels. Right, so buy that. Whoa, it's pretty long. 230. That's okay. Right, buy it. Set it on the line. Avanti West Coast. Right, there it is. Looks nice. I actually really like the the colour scheme of these, like the sort of turquoisey colour. Yeah, Avanti West Coast. Excellent. We've actually picked a tree and we know is right. Well, I know the LNERs are right. <laughs> so this one, I believe, is just plain carriages that don't have the Avanti logo on them. Right, you're disappearing into, into the Houston station there. Right, well, three times it, we'll let this train come out. Uh, come out. We'll jump on board, and I think when it get gets to, or when it leaves crew, I will release another one. So let's jump on board, first class. No buffet car. There maybe is, but it's just not the same as a standard buffet car, unless it's in like here or something. Who knows, where's your, ah, your pantograph is at the back. How fast are you actually going? Because this is a fast section coming up here, right through the tunnel, 83, 84, 88, yeah, so it's at least going to hit 100, that's good, <gasps> or is it? Yeah, 98, 99, there we go. This could possibly be the fastest train that we have. Not in real life wise, just because it probably might be able to reach its top speed or the track top speed of 125. No, it slows down there, so 120. The LNER trains are fast as well, but they don't have a long enough flat straight run to get up to speed. There we go, though. It's, it's, it's made it to crew in, like, no time at all. Yay. Well done. Thing. Train. <laughs> I mean, we could get a Birmingham uh, Manchester Airport. There probably is a train that runs that. I don't actually know. Every time I've been to Manchester Airport, it's, it's been via plane. So... I can see some Trans Pennine trains in the background. Uh, I thought the game had crashed, but it's actually just an autosave. We do love an autosave. Right, so that one is heading now. Push pause. And let's release another one. We'll, we'll actually do the Safe Travels one as well. Uh, so went uh, class three nineties. Head down. All right, so we've got this one, this one. So that's two that we know of. Uh, Greater Anglia, Great Western, London Northwestern. Rip save game. So that's two more. I think there's two more down here. Yeah. So, Avanti Pride livery. So that's one. And Avanti Plain, Avanti Pride livery and safe travels. I think these. So there are four. Right? So I think if I add this, right? So this is 281 meters. This one should be less. 230 capacity of 170. Yeah, so there's four variants and there's, there's different sizes. So we need, first of all, we need Avanti Safe Travels. So let's add that. Buy it. 
Uh, move that out of the way. Let's add that. Buy it. Let's move that out of the way and then find the the extremely colourful one. <laughs> Which is down here. Avanti Pride. Add that. Buy it. There we go. Remove that. Right, set this one on the line. So four is perfect. I keep scrolling down. It's actually right here. Push play. Three times speed it. Let it come out of the depot. Safe travels. Wait a face covering. Okay, that's actually, that's actually got a mask on the front of it. That's pretty cool. So it's quite fitting to have this running. I might actually get the, I might add a fifth one, the NHS one, because I think that's pretty cool. Be a nice little shout out to the NHS workers. Okay, this, uh, I should have launched this uh, earlier because the other train is going to be well on its way now. Alright, let's jump on with the face mask. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's good. Did they actually do this? Or is this a made up livery? I mean, it's a lot to, uh, to re-decal an entire train. It's not the not a ten minute job. I suppose it does put the point across that everyone should be wearing face masks, etc. Bar those who already have breathing difficulties. Right, so you are on your way, but I think I'll launch the next one before you actually get to crew. Because they do sort of doddle in the station. Right, so we're bypassing at Birmingham. I wonder where the first train actually is. Where are you? Uh, you're actually heading towards Glasgow. Okay. And the plan is that that one gets to Glasgow and then the other ones are done. So that train is there. Okay, push pause. Let's get the next one on. Uh, is there nothing in this depot? There should be. Oh, that's the wrong depot. Or they're a completely wrong station. Idiot. Right, get this one on. Avanti West Coast. Let's go. Yeah, so this one is the standard livery, but it's actually got the the Star Trek symbol on the side of it. Because that's what it looks like, kinda. Kinda does look like the the Star the Star Trek symbol. Beautiful. Now we can launch one of the NHS trains, right? And see what it actually which real company it belongs to. It might just be a plain made up one. But it'd be interesting to see. There we go, so you are heading out. I, I really do like these liveries there. They're very nice. Uh, so go to here, right? Buy an NHS. Right, add that. It's only 106 capacity, so I might add it. Now, you're just going to be a little test train, so I can actually see what you are. Push pause. Uh, heroes, key workers working in the NHS. What do you belong to? Nothing. Stay at home. Right, you know what? 
I will put that on a line somewhere. Uh, manage vehicle. I'm deleted for the moment. Yes. We'll, we'll figure out somewhere to place that. We might just have it running around the country. There we go. We can see some trains heading into King's Cross in the distance. So obviously in real life, King's Cross is here. St Pancras International is like here and then Houston's just to the other side of it. Everything from the west coast comes down and comes in here. St Pancras goes off to France and this way, which is odd. Oh well, we've got our St Pancras station down here for our Eurostar. Uh, it's not beyond the realms of possibility to bring trains in here. Uh, the Dover train will probably come in there. That's just going to be a tiny little short line. There's already 15 people. This bus route actually does uh, operate for this station as well. It is in range, so that's nice. Uh, now, this platform, I'll have to add like stairs or something at the edge of this platform, and hopefully, maybe the road up the end here and see if it will actually fit. We're going to set the, la the last one off on its way. The Pride one. Is it Gay Pride? What is it? Where are you? Avanti West Coast Pride. It's nice though. It's a nice livery. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that say? Live proud. Okay. Continue on. Yeah, it's, it's really nice actually. It's cool. It's very cool. Right. Now, I actually want to see where the first train is. Uh, it's only heading down to Preston. That's okay. There we go. We've got Trans Pennine on the left. Avanti on the right. But we shall leave it there for that episode. Uh, as always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you would like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. But I've been Danny Boy, this has been Nimby Rails and Transport Fever 2, and I will catch you later.